So begin to straighten out your spine and finding your sit bones, lengthen, feeling this, this anchor down through the bottom half and this lifting up through the upper half of your, your back so that you feel nice and stable. And feet pointing forward at 12 o'clock and reminding yourself that you don't have to do everything that I'm offering. These are merely suggestions and that your practice should take care of you and your needs. So what I'd like you to do now is just kind of circle your eyes, like keeping your head not moving. So everything stays st stable here and just draw like your eyes around the room or wherever you're at and just kind of look up, look to the sides and look down without moving your head. Just noticing your field of vision here. Can't do it without moving my head. Just check out your field of vision. And know that this time and space, what's happening right now, you're not trying to change it, but just observing it where it's at. Where are you? And then without looking in your camera, I'd like you to see if you can see an, or actually imagine seeing your face without like from the outside, just like where your body is, like seeing your head, your neck, your shoulders, and like visualizing your body, like you're seeing it from the outside and just checking in with what that experience might feel like to have this outer body, like disassociated from your body. It's kind of a weird feeling. And then close your eyes and begin to focus on your breathing. Taking a deep breath in, exhaling it out slow and smooth. And you can keep your eyes closed, but we're going to add in some shoulder movement. So on your next inhale, lift just your right shoulder up. And then exhale, lower your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your left shoulder up and lower it down. So now I just want you to walk with your shoulders, lifting one up. The opposite one is just going to kind of automatically go down. And just take a walk with your shoulders. Again, still being with your breath. Helps to smile in our practices. We'll just take one or two more steps with our shoulders here. And then bring both shoulders down. And then we're going to lift each foot off the ground as if we're walking. So you're gonna lift one foot, set it down, lift the other foot, set it down. So just kind of, we're basically warming up the major joints here. Hands could be on your legs or you could have them on dangling down, whichever one feels more stable for you. And this is another where you can inquiry, you can wonder like, am I doing this fast, slow? What does my body, what is my mental state here? How can I, how can I make this practice a bit more of my needs? Begin to slow down your walk and then land both feet to the ground. 
readjust, wiggle in your seat. And then we're gonna sweep both arms up, taking this nice big stretch up to the sky. Exhale, lower your arms back down. Inhale, lifting the arms. Exhale, lowering. Option to add in lifting your heels as you lift your arms. So as you inhale, the heels lift, the arms lift, the back goes straight. Exhale, lowering your arms, lowering your heels. Inhale, lifting up, stretching it all out. Exhale, coming down. Do a few rounds on your own, taking it faster, slower if you need to. Let's do one more round. Relax your hands beside you. Just take a second to observe. And then we're gonna take our fingers, interlace them, and then place them on the back of your head. Don't mess up your hair if you have a nice hairdo today. <laughs> Point the elbows out. Lift the head up, take a nice big inhale here. As you exhale, twist to one direction. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the other direction. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. And keep going. Try to keep your back straight. Great. One more to each side. You're back in center. You lower your arms down. Let them dangle for a moment. See if you can feel like blood flow or energy coming back to your fingertips. Next, doing some windshield wiper with our knees. So you're just gonna swing the knees to one side, swing the knees to the other side. Inhale is center, just like we did with the arms. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees swing. And I'm kinda, you can't see my feet, but I'm kinda rolling on the edges of my feet. If you are wearing shoes, it's a little more complicated, but it's just kind of rolling to the edge and the other edge. Depending on what you're sitting on, it may be easier or harder. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna slide out of my chair. <laughs> Okay, right, let's do one more to each side again. And come back to center. Returning back to sitting up. I'm gonna sit more to the middle of my chair now. Let the arms relax. 
We're going to lift both legs simultaneously. As you do that, you're going to lift your chin up. But don't let the head fall backwards. Just lift it up, gaze towards the sky. So inhale, lift the legs, lift the chin. Exhale, lower the legs, lower the chin down towards your throat. Inhale, lift both legs, lift the chin. Exhale, lower your legs, lower your chin. Keep going. So the inhale, straightening the legs, and the chin comes up. And just maybe observe, do the arms want to play here? Are they like perfectly fine doing nothing? Long, smooth movements. Long, smooth breath. Do two more. Last one. Legs relax, feet on the ground. Take your hands to your lap. We're going to move into our cobra pose next. So hug your shoulders in towards your ribs. Slide your hands forward, hinging at your waist. Look down and then lift your chin and lift the front of the collarbones. Exhale, look back down. You can flatten out your back. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting the head, shoulders, stay down. Let's try a few. Inhales the lift. Exhales the lowering down. These will kind of heat you up, these little cobra poses. And then maybe try one or two with your hands beside your knees, not holding on to anything. So you know, when you look up, your hands have nothing to press on. One more. Oh, and then hands return back to your legs. Slide them down towards your feet. Just take a gentle forward fold. When you're ready, slide your hands up your legs. Roll back your shoulders a couple times. And then relax the arms down, step your feet apart, coming into a wider stance, toes pointing away, heels pointing in towards one another. And check your, your body, see if you feel like you are in the middle, you're not leaning to one side. Can you feel this nice lift here? And we're gonna take some twist. Inhale, take your arms out to a T. Take your right hand to your left leg and your left hand maybe to the back of the chair or your back. Inhale, bring your arms back out to the side. Exhale, left hand to right knee. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, lower them. Keep going. Inhale, twist to your left. Inhale, center, arms out to the side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Lower the arms, reset. So we do both sides and then we lower the arms. That gives your upper body a chance to kind of relax.
Inhale as the arms up. Exhale as the twist. Let's do one more round together. Arms come down. The feet step back, facing forward. Good job. Hands come off your lap, moving into a sun salutation here. So we're gonna inhale both arms forward and up. Exhale, folding over your both legs, touch your shins, lift your chin. Exhale, lower your chin. Inhale, bring your arms forward, lift your left knee up. Hold this in the air. Then exhale, lower your hands back to your shin as you lower your foot. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, lower your head down. Reach your arms forward as you reach forward. Lift your right knee up. Exhale, lower your right foot. Lower both hands to your shins. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, lower your head. Arms reach forward. Left knee rises. Exhale, lower the arms, fold over both legs. Lift your head. Exhale. Inhale, right knee comes up. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, lower your head. We're starting on that memory piece here. So try a few on your own. If you get lost, make something up. It's okay. Do your best. We're just working out our body, our mind, connecting them, seeing if they can stay focused. I'm going to finish out one more on my this right side. Hands come down. And this time when I come up, I'm going to go half lift and fold. Arms come up, feet stay down. And then lower your hands to your side or your lap. And you can close your eyes. And I want you just to observe. Check in with that experience. Notice if your body temperature has shifted, if your heart is beating a little faster. If it's not, that's okay. But just be aware. Excellent. Let's do some lateral stretches here. Step your left foot over to the left side. I have to sit more to the middle because I've got short legs. Straighten out your left knee. Right knee is bent, facing forward. And we'll take the arms out to the side, keeping the shoulders below the elbows. Actually, no, elbows below the shoulders. <laughs> Words are hard. Take your left hand down and your right arm up. Inhale, bring the arms back out to the sides. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lower your left arm down. Inhaling your arms out to the side. Now let's just keep moving and flowing. 
Maybe each time you do it, you get a little bit deeper. <laughs> we never want to start at 100% of our capacity because we don't have anywhere to go from there. That's how you overstretch. We just test the waters, get a little deeper each time. You're looking great. Lovely. And we've got one more. Take your time. And you lower the arms. Step in your left leg. Let's step out with the right leg. Same thing, just using the other side of our body. Right knee is straight, left knee is facing forward. Inhale the arms out. Exhale, right hand goes down as your left arm pendulum's up. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale. You got it. Add or subtract as needed. Doing great. Maybe two more. You're done. The arms come down. Shoulders relax. Step in your right foot. Breathe. Moving into another twist here. Left leg's gonna extend back out. So straighten your left knee. It's gonna look similar, but instead of this hand going down, so the left hand hitting the left knee, it's the right hand that's gonna hit it. So we're gonna take the arms out to the side. You're gonna take the right hand across, left hand's gonna reach back. And then inhale, bringing the arms back out. So we twist, right hand touches left leg, left hand reaches behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slow and steady. So, do one more. Arms are getting so heavy here. <laughs> Softly lower them when you're done. Step in your left foot. Yeah, pause for that breath. And then we'll take the twist to the right. Right leg extends out. Knee is straight, spine starts straight, heads lifted, arms come out, shoulders relaxed. Take your left hand, sweep it around to your right leg as your right arm reaches back. Inhale, bringing the arms back out to the side. Exhale, sweeping down, touch your leg. Inhale, bring the arms back. Yes, looking so good. Oh, 
Roll the twist. This is our last one on this side. Oh, let the arms relax and come down. And then step in your right foot. We'll take about 30 seconds here, maybe 60. <laughs> and I just want you to observe and breathe. We're going to transition into standing postures next. So I want you to feel a sense of grounding before you stand up. Great opportunity to practice your ujjayi breathing. The breath that moves through the nostrils. When you're ready, we'll come to standing. If you'd rather stay in your chair today, that's okay too. We're going to stand behind it. Maybe lift each foot. Feel the soles of your feet anchoring you down. Notice. If you're holding tension in your legs, are you gripping the muscles? Can you put a slight bend in the knees so you have a little bit more softness muscles? Lovely. Just step back with your right foot, keeping your left foot forward. Continuing on our twisting today, we're going to take the left hand, so left leg is forward, left arm is forward. Turn and let the left arm rotate behind you. You're making little scissor legs, your inner thighs may touch. And then bring your left hand back forward. So we're going to twist, left hand goes back on the exhale. Inhale, arms, left arm comes forward. Exhale, twisting the arms back. And inhale, coming forward. Got it. Do more. Stays lifted. And turn your left hand to the chair. Step in your right foot. Now, same sequence. We'll step the left foot back. Left hand stays on the backrest. Right arm reaches forward, thumbs up to the ceiling, pointing to the ceiling. Inhale, twisting the arm back behind you. Inhale, slowly bring the arm forward. Exhale. Inhale. Notice where your drisky goes, your gaze. Can you follow your thumb or is that too much in your neck? One more. Right 
inhale, we'll go forward and then you'll bring your right fingers to the back of the chair. Step in your left leg. Whew, you need a counter pose after that. Hold on to the chair with both hands. The four fingers are in front, the thumb is on the back side. Walk backwards. Ooh. Lift your hips away from your downward facing dog. Allow ourself to settle in and taking a few breaths here. You may notice that any time movement, you feel a different muscle group. You may feel like you want to bend your knees. Explore that. We're going to step into lizard pose next. So if you look where the left chair leg is, that's where we're going with the left leg. So as you lift your head, you're going to step your left foot towards the left chair leg. If that's not wide enough, step it out wider. We're going to go into this kind of awkward lunge here. And then bend deeply into your knee and see if you can come onto your forearms. Feeling the stretch all down the right leg. And can you lift your chin up? Good. Holding on to the chair. Bring your hands down, come off your forearms. Bend deeper into your left knee and then step it back to your downward dog. Excellent. Now look to the right chair leg. And then you'll lift your head up, stepping the right foot over in that direction. Keep the left heel down. And then you can take, come onto your forearms if you wish. Keep pressing down through the left heel. Right to exit, and stay on the chair, lift your upper body, bend deeper into your right knee, and then step it back. Shift the hips away from the arms. We'll do that same sequence, but we're gonna move a little faster, so we won't go into the forearms. Look to the left chair leg, lift your head, step your left foot in that direction, bend your knee. Ah, and then bend. And then step it back to down dog. Lift your head, step your right foot out. Bend your right knee. Bring your shoulders down so you can lift your head up. Ah, step back, downward dog again. See if you can step your left foot a little wider this time. So going outside. Bending into the left knee, lifting your chin, maybe finding a little back bend here. Good. When you're ready, step back your left foot. And then we'll step out to the right, bending the right knee, shoulders going down your back, chin slightly lifting. Ah, step back, down dog. Good. Now we're going to go into a squat. So you're going to step the left foot out first. Bend the left knee. And now step your right foot out to the right. So we're in this kind of wide knee stance here. And then we're going to inhale, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend your knees. Lower your buttocks. Inhale, straighten the knees. If this hurts your knees, don't do it. But you observe and make choices for yourself. Exhale, bending and lowering down. Good. 
two more rounds. Last one. And then when we're done, we'll toe heel the feet back underneath us. Pause and just stand for a second. Now we're going to practice a little bit more with our hips. So we're facing this way. You may want to turn so that one hips to the side. This way we can have a little bit more space, but you are got the chair for, for support. Whatever leg is closest to the side of the chair, we're going to keep that one straight. You're going to lift up the outer leg and just crisscross, bringing your knee out to the side. So it's similar to what you would do for a tree pose, but tree pose is more here. So we're asking for a little bit more of a figure four today. Can you rotate the hip out? the knee out to the side, and can you find balance? So now we're just gonna see, maybe you don't need to put your hand on the chair, maybe you do. And if you wobble, congratulations, you are doing it just right. Lovely. When you're ready, shake off the legs. And you're welcome to turn around and try it on the other side, letting the knee fall out and open. I'm sort of hooking my toes to the side of my leg, and it could be down here, doesn't matter. Find your balance, find something to look at that's not moving, so I'm moving, don't look at me here. Gaze out into the horizon. Lovely. You're done. Shake that off. So for that one, we hook the foot in the front. This one, we're going to hook the foot from the back. So now the outer leg, you're going to cross it behind you and see if you can just hook your foot to your calf here, letting the knee fall open. Keep your shoulders relaxed, but your head lifting. Yes. Ah. When you're ready, set that foot down. And then try it on the other side. Looking the foot behind the opposite leg. Knee rotates out to the side. Take it off. Let's do a, a couple forward folds. If you have any dizziness or blood pressure issues, you may want to not go so low. We're just going to bring our hands to the seat of the chair. So I like to test it first. Walk back and just make sure you can, you're going to land there. <coughs> All right, so we'll begin by bringing the arms forward and up. Exhale, bringing the hands to the chair, softly bending the knees on the way down. Bend the knees just a tiny bit more, and then reach the arms forward and come back up. Inhale. Exhale, lower your arms to your side. Let's reset between these so we don't get dizzy. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Inhale, pulling up. Exhale, lower your arms to your side. Now keep going, trying to lengthen your breath.
Let's do one more round together and then we'll come back and have a seat. And we'll move back into our chair. We're not quite done with our twist. But before we do that, just take a second to readjust and feel the flesh move away from your bones wherever you're sitting. Let's take both arms up. Take a nice big stretch up. And then exhale the hands to your lap. Step your left foot out to the left side. Keeping the left hand down. We're gonna move the right hand on top of it. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your chest towards your knee, and then turn so you look towards the back of the room. So you're looking over your left shoulder. Ooh, we're gonna stay here for three more breaths. Nice and easy, lift your head up. Right, turn your right hand to your leg, step in your left foot. Switching sides, right foot steps over to the right. Left hand joins on top of the right, lift your head up. Exhale, leaning over your right knee. Turn your head to look over your right shoulder. A few breaths, three to be exact. Slowly lift your head back up, step your feet together. Right, now step both feet out. One hand on each leg, each knee. Inhale, lifting your spine. Exhale, hands slide down, coming into a wide-legged fold. Inhale, slide your hands up. Step your right foot over to meet your left. So knees are kind of angled to the left. Inhale your arms out to the side. Exhale, we're twisting. So you're gonna take the left hand across you, right hand to the back. Inhale, bring your arms back out to the side. Exhale, twisting, heads lifting. Keep your spine nice and long. Don't collapse in the middle. Two more. One hand goes behind, one hand goes to the opposite shoulder. When you're done, the arms lower. Right foot's gonna step out over to the right, spine lifts. We're going down, inhale, lift your head. Exhale, hands lower down your legs, coming into wide-legged fold. Inhale, hands and head come up. Step your left knee to meet your right over at an, uh, an angle to the right side. Take your arms out, shoulders down. And take your twist. So your left hand goes to right shoulder, right hand goes to your back or the chair. 
Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open the arms. Finish this one, bring your arms back out. Lower them down. Step your left foot out, both legs apart. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, lower your hands down. Inhale, head lifts, hands slide up. Keep your legs as they are. Take your right hand, place it to your left leg on top of your left hand. Draw your right shoulder forward and walk your hand down your leg. So we're moving this shoulder, right shoulder forward, taking a big old twist and shoulder opener. Stay here for three breaths. Slowly bring your hand up your leg and return the right hand back to your right side. All right, doing the twist to the right. Left hand goes on top of the right hand. Bring your left shoulder forward. You're going to lean to the right knee. As you do that, see if you can take the left hand down the outside of your left right leg and bring it down, really trying to move the shoulder blade off the back ribs. Three more breaths. Ready, slide your hand up. Return your left hand to your left knee. Lift the head up, straighten your back, and then exhale, folding down. We'll stay here for a moment. You can do whatever feels good. Do you want to sway? Do you want to be still? Three more breaths. Next time you inhale, your hands will come up. Shoulders will roll back, head will lift. Toe heel your feet together. Sit to, sit to the edge of your chair if you're not already. We're gonna lean back, lifting both feet or knees. If you need to keep your big toes down, that's okay. We're gonna hold this <laughs> and still breathe. Ah, uh, touch back down, or so you set, try it again. I'm gonna do it two more times. So on your inhale, your knees and your feet will lift. You'll breathe here, inhale. Exhale, bring the feet back down. Try it again. Lean back, shoulders back, knees come up. And now come into a slouch. So you're gonna straighten out your legs, and the sit bones are still close to the edge of the chair. You've got this incline in your body. Legs are straight. Take this rest for just a moment. Now, lift your left knee, draw it into your chest. We're going to give it a squeeze with both hands towards your left shoulder. And then release the left leg. Try it on the right. Right knee, hold your shin, bring it towards your right shoulder. 
and then look down. Let's do it again one more time on each side. Left knee, draw it in. Let it go. Right knee, draw it in. Bend your knees, walk your heels a little closer to the chair. Again, it's finding yourself in this incline. Fingertips on uh, your lap. We're gonna take an inhale here. Exhale, slide your hands. Your back's gonna come off the chair, bringing your fingertips pointing towards your knees. Exhale, slide your hands back, shoulders back, and then your back hits the backrest. Inhale, using your abdominal muscles to come forward. Exhale, going back. Inhale. Try a few more rounds. When you've had enough, just, just stop. Lovely. One more. Take a rest. And now lift your back off the chair and then just scoot your bum back so that you are fully supported by the backrest with your spine. And you can close your eyes here. Again, thinking about our layers, our system. First, observe your physical layer. Do you have pain anywhere in your body? Is your strength and your flexibility and balance? Is your weight appropriate for your constitution? And again, what type of movement throughout your day can help improve your physical health? So just stay with that for a moment. What type of movement can improve your physical health? And moving to the second layer, the prana layer, the breath. Do you hold your breath throughout the day? Do you hold the top of your inhales? Do you hold at the bottom of your exhales? Is your breath long, smooth, and easy? Do you take enough breaths or do you take too many? And what type of what awareness can you choose, can you do to make breathing more important throughout your day. Mentally, do you have a clear mind? Is your mind at ease? How is your memory? How is it to learn? Do you forget easily? Or do you remember everything all the time? 
And then what type or what things would help you improve your mental capacity throughout your day? Moving to your personality layer. Are you easy or hard to be with? Do you have a temper? Do you get depressed? Get anxious? Do you judge others? Are you a people pleaser? Reflecting on your personality, what can you do throughout your day to have a more stable, more calm personality? And the fifth layer is your emotions, your spirituality. Are you emotionally stable? Do you process and digest your emotions or do you stuff them down? Can you be present with what is? Do you trust the divine works within your life? And again, which activities, which Things do you do throughout your day can support gaining more peace, more emotional strength, connection to kindness? How can you add more of that into your day? Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. And open your eyes with a, a smile and stretch your arms up. Mm. Bring your hands to prayer. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me. Today, I hope you can spend a few moments reflecting. You may not remember everything I just went through, but take something, take whatever stood out to you and see if you can reflect that on your day. Have a wonderful one. Thanks. Namaste.